Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to show you the course um, or the module designing and uh, delivering MOOCs that I have uh, so far constructed on using course sites uh, from Blackboard. So as you can see on the screen now, I'm already uh, logged in and um, the first thing when you log in, maybe um, you look at we look at the um, top right hand side uh, here the edit mode is on so meaning uh, just like in Moodle you can do the editing in this mode uh, we can also uh, click this to turn the to switch to the students view to see how the students will uh, view the course so for example um, this is uh, the students view and the students will have access to the menu on the left hand side so currently, um, there are two units which I have uh, added content, so you can see only unit 1 and unit 2. But uh, when I switch back to um, edit on mode, to the editing mode, you can see uh, I have um, added actually unit 1, 2, until unit 8. So when you switch on as an instructor, you just uh, go straight to your own uh, respective unit and can, you can start adding uh, content. What I want to show you uh, here is um, uh, how to add content. So let's say in, uh, if I go to unit 1, this, uh, I haven't finished yet but I will add more content. So you can see in unit 1 here, um, so um, I have, these are the contents I have so far. This is based on the structure that we have agreed in our uh, discussion. You can check in the Google uh, doc that uh, Hafiza has sent you to the email. So basically this is the, the overview of the introduction for the unit. Uh, I just give a few videos here. Then um, the actual content of this unit is uh, unit one here, overview. Um, I would uh, suggest um, for for the for each unit because each unit will contain um, a few or several topics. Um, so you to add the the content here. Um, if you go up, you can see here in the edit mode. You can see this menu: build content, assessment tools, and partner content here. So under build content, um, you you would want to add learning uh, module. When we add learning module, um, we can add uh, the items such as you know the PowerPoint or the slide share or the uh, video. And uh, each item that we add uh, will be um, uh, we will have an outline in in, uh, in the form of table of content. Um, then, in each learning module now, you can add, you know, uh, photo, you can add slide share, YouTube video, Google Doc, or you can add, uh, in, in my case here, like the one you see here in a nutshell, and, you know, uh, what I did, after I created the learning uh, module, I add the item. Okay, so, um, if I go into... Unit 1 overview here. So I'm in Unit 1 now. Uh, if I scroll down, so these are the content which I have uh, added. So this is how the instructor will uh, see the content. But um, if I switch to user's uh, view or student's view, this unit will look or will appear like this. So the materials are presented. You can see here this is page 1 of 11. So the material is presented screen by screen or page by page. So the students would have... Um, can navigate, they can just click here to go to the next screen, 
or can see uh, on the left hand side here this is actually a table of content uh, this is actually uh, currently collapsed uh, so I can uh, actually expand the table the student can maximize the table of content so currently it's minimized so the, the students can actually click this so now they can see the table of content and they can actually jump from one topic to another topic or from one item to another uh, item and they can always minimize and uh, similarly the, the menu on the left here will allow them to jump to jump from uh, you know one unit to another unit and this can also be minimized if you bring the cursor here you can see the arrow so you can hide the course menu you can expand the table of content and you can also expand so we have the menu the table of content and the unit content so the student actually is very flexible the students can uh, minimize the table of content and look at the or can see the whole screen so that's how the students actually will uh, view the content let's switch back to the uh, instructor mode so in the same way uh, I can minimize the table of content here and uh, okay. um, so to add content basically when you are in the unit this is where you can add the content so usually I will add item or I will add the YouTube video or uh, any anything that you can see here uh, can be added uh, in the page and uh, let's say you have added the material like this and if you decide to rearrange uh, can go to here click here then you can click and rearrange the item as appropriate um, I think that's all for now uh, just a quick uh, tutorial how you can uh, set up the, the course and um, to create a forum uh, actually I have created for my uh, course here um, so all the forum will be located here so currently you can see two forums which I have created as part of activity for my unit so um, when you create a new forum it will be added to here and the students would have access to the forum in uh, each unit from this page so uh, I guess uh, I will stop here if you have any uh, question uh, please uh, let me know thank you